Hello, I'm Trisha Drape, and I'm the Senior Manager of Individual Giving here at the Kauffman Center for the Performing Arts. I'm inside beautiful Hellsberg Hall today. This hall is renowned for its incredible acoustics and, of course, for the stunning Julia Irene Kaufman Casavant Organ, Opus 3875. The hall was also specifically designed to complement the orchestras and the musicians who perform in it. Today, we're partnering with Scraps KC to bring you a family-friendly craft that features a surprise musical element. Hi everyone, my name is Courtney Christensen and I'm the Education and Events Coordinator at Scraps KC. We are a local nonprofit creative reuse center and part of my job is helping figure out fun and unique things to do with things that everyone sort of has on hand, are left over, and we want to reuse them creatively. So today we're going to be talking about sheet music and making a really fun um, either snowflake or star project with that. And you can actually use any kind of paper that you want to for this, but here in Hellsberg Hall we wanted to use sheet music. And this is a really fun way to use sheet music to maybe a song that is important to you or that you've loved playing or listening to. Um, so that's what we're doing for today. So the thing that you will need are six pieces of sheet music and we're gonna cut those down into square size. And you'll need some scissors and a ruler is helpful and a pencil or a pen and then either some tape or glue. So I have a few already made but the first thing you're gonna do is we're gonna turn our sheet music into a square. And so I'm just gonna fold the corner over until my edges match up in our square and I'll fold right there. And then I'm gonna cut this end off and I'm actually gonna set that aside to do another fun project with later. This doesn't have to be super precise. Set that aside. And so we've got roughly a square shape here. I'm actually gonna keep this fold, folding in half diagonally so it makes triangle. Then I'm gonna fold it in half one more time this way so that makes a smaller triangle. So now I have an open edge here and I have a folded edge here. And I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna mark every inch on my folded edge. You don't have to be that intricate. You can do just three cuts if you wanna do a little bit simpler, more sturdy ornament. But I'm gonna do every inch here. And I'm just making a little mark because my lines actually are going to be parallel to this long edge. So now that I have my marks, I'm gonna make a line that's roughly parallel to the long edge. And I'm not gonna go all the way through because I don't wanna cut this into pieces. I just wanna cut slits. So I'm gonna leave about a half inch. So I'm gonna start my line right here and go down. And then I'll go to my next hash mark and I'm gonna leave a half inch at the top. And I'm gonna do the same thing all the way down, making sure I'm making lines that are roughly parallel to this edge here. So two more. This makes a pretty intricate snowflake. If you wanted to do a simpler one, like I said, you could just do maybe like every other or just make three even lines right here. And then I'm just gonna cut on my lines. And again, I'm leaving this edge right here intact. And it'll be pretty obvious why when we unfold. So I'm gonna keep making these cuts. And some of my lines aren't quite parallel, so I'm just kind of going to fix that with my scissors so that I don't end up with an off-kilter snowflake here. But again, this isn't super precise. Once we put everything together and unfold it. Oh, actually I have one more here that I need to cut, so I'll go ahead and cut that. And we're gonna do this six times. So however many, time, however many times you cut it, if you just do three or four, just make sure you do that on all six so that they're the same. So 
So each of these pieces will end up being one sort of arm to your snowflake or your star. And I'm gonna go ahead and unfold. And you'll see we've got sort of a diamond shape with all these slits cut along the different edges. And I'm gonna kind of smooth out that really tough folded edge so it's a little bit easier to round out when we need to. I'm just kind of taking my finger and running it along the back side where it was folded really um, hard there. And you just want to be careful as you're unfolding because these arms can get a little bit delicate. You don't want to tear them. If you did, you could easily tape them back together. That would be fine. Scotch tape works great with this project. Um, I'm going to use glue dots because I have some, but you could use scotch tape. You could use um, a glue stick. These glue dots are just little tiny dots of glue on um, kind of a piece of waxy tape um, that I'll peel off and use, but you can use anything that you've got around your house. So I'm going to take this first diamond and basically we're going to make these two points curve up and meet in the middle. And the one in the very center is really small, so it's kind of the trickiest one to do, so I like to do it first. I'm gonna grab a glue dot. This is kind of a little flexible piece of sticky. And I'm putting it on the edge and just meeting the two together. So you could easily just stick a piece of scotch tape over this if you're using tape. You'd use double-sided tape. You can make little loops of tape if you needed to. And I'm gonna do this on this side every other strip. So this one I'm gonna leave, I'll do that later. And this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. So make sure you're matching up the correct sides. And put those together. And I skipped one, and now I'm doing the fifth set. And so I did three on this side, and I'm gonna flip it over and do the three on the other side going the other way. And that's what creates sort of the three-dimensional part of this project. So stick those two together. And you just don't want to smash this down right now. I'm just kind of letting it sit there really gently because you don't want to create hard edges. You want everything to be sort of rounded. Get my last glue dot here. And then this paper got ripped a little bit, so I'm actually just gonna cover that up with the other side and make sure it's on top. It's very forgiving. So then when you lay it flat, you can see that the loops are alternating as they go out. So this is fun to do with colored paper. Another fun thing that you could do um, if you have kids and you're making this as a gift is before you even cut the squares, you could have them color on this. And then it could sort of be their own creation. Um, and then this is our finished arm of our snowflake or star, and we're going to make six of those. So I've got four over here already. I'm just going to make the other two that I have here really quickly, and then we will put everything together. Another fun thing to do with sheet music, if this feels a little too intricate for your kiddos, would be just to cut normal paper snowflakes out of them. They make a really fun festive window decoration, or you can make a garland out of them, hang them up in a bedroom, skip that one. So I'm doing every other set here, and then I'll flip it and do the opposite ones.
sheet music just gives this project a really fun dimension. But if you wanted to use other paper, if you wanted to make a star, you could use yellow or gold, or you could do each arm in a different color, which would be fun. So there's my fifth arm, and then we'll do this last one. So if I was using a glue stick, I would probably just put a little dab on this end and then bring the other side up to meet it and hold it there for a few seconds. The other thing you can use on this is a stapler. Just this very immediate small piece might be hard to get with a stapler, but the rest of them you could easily just staple together as well and they would hold really, really well. Skip the second one and do the third. And I'll skip the fourth and do the fifth. And then we'll flip it over and do the other side. You could also make these in all different sizes. You could make really small ones, be a smaller ornament, give to a music lover or someone that plays music. Be a really fun gift or use it as a tag on a gift that you're giving them. So I'm gonna assemble this in halves and I'm gonna keep using my glue dots. This is where if you were using taper glue, I would suggest using a stapler. Um, might just work a little bit better. So I am going to make sure each of these are the same. You can see, <clears throat> basically I want this bottom piece to be coming up over the top and to the right on each of them. And on the left, it's coming from the back. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm actually gonna attach these in two different places to hold them together. And the first place is right here. So I'll attach this center to this center. And then I'm gonna attach them at the bottom as well. So I'll do the bottoms here and here. And then I'll do the same thing with the second and third. You don't have to do it this way, but it feels easier to me to put the top half of the snowflake together and then the bottom half. But you could just keep going and attaching. I feel like it makes it nice and even if you do the top half like this. So there's our top half, and I'm gonna set that aside and bring my other pieces over. And again, I'm gonna have it to where at the bottom, the front piece is coming up and to the right, and then there's another piece is going back and to the left so that they're all uniform. And I'm attaching in the middle here to the centers. This way when it hangs up, nothing will droop too much. If you find when it's hanging up, something is drooping, that's super easy to just tape in place or staple. So if I was stapling, I would get the stapler in here and I would staple these two together and then I would staple these bottom pieces together. Centers. There's our bottom half. So now I will bring this piece over. And the first thing I'm gonna do is attach these centers to each other. Right here. 
and right here. And then I'm just going to have these two pieces meet and attach them to one another. Just like that. Now I'm just gonna give these all a quick squeeze to make sure they're bonded. And then when we hold up, here's our star or our snowflake. So you could put a piece of thread or yarn or string through the top with a needle to hang it. You could tape this. If you wanted to tape it to a window, you could tape along these back edges here so that it's really secure. And like I said, you can make them in all sorts of different sizes, um, hang them, tape them, and make it really fun and festive. You could make a lot of them and turn it into a garland. And so then the only other thing I wanted to show you is I do have all of these extra little pieces that I cut off the bottom of my sheet music. And so something you could do with that is really simply just cut out some letters. And we made a fun little garland. You could actually make this some of the lyrics to your favorite songs um, or some other message, someone's name, and hang it up. So that is our creative reuse with sheet music. We definitely want to see your paper snowflakes. Whether you made them out of sheet music or wrapping paper or even newspaper, post your finished craft on social media and tag Kaufman Center and Scraps KC. Thank you so much for joining us.